also using that opportunity to submit to the end of the exams. And while the party was going on like every other kind of party, drinks, music, vaping, dancing, the teenagers having the best time of their lives. But then, somewhere around 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., they slowly began to drop dead one by one. And it was asserting that some of them may have felt slightly dizzy and decided to sit to rest. But from then on, they passed. And all 20 of them were said to have passed out at about the same time. So there wasn't even any moment of chaos for them to, you know, struggle out and fight for their lives. They just started dropping slowly, like flies, on the dance floor as the music was playing. So what happened to these kids? Were they deliberately poisoned to death? Was this some kind of accident? Was it a stampede? Or could this be more than what it seems? When the police arrived at the scene, they first thought it was a stampede. But upon further inspection of the bodies of these young people, they realized that there wasn't any physical injuries or bruises that would have suggested that someone had stepped on them. They all looked like they were asleep. So definitely and instantly, the possibility that these children died from stampede was ruled out. However, as at the time of making this video, no official report has been made regarding the exact cause of death of these teenagers. But there are speculations that it may have been poisoning, either from the alcohol or from the food or from something that they may have inhaled or mm. eaten or drank because it was established that the kids were drinking heavily and they were vaping heavily and there were also evidence of substances that some of them may have taken and remember these are kids between 13 to 18 all of them are underage not even legalized to take a, a simple bottle of alcohol but then let's assume this was some kind of alcohol poisoning i would guess the alcohol that they would drink would come from a bottle a sealed bottle so how is it possible that a crate of alcohol drinks were poisoned and injected into or was the alcohol from a plastic bottle i mean i get them being poisoned but the fact that they all dropped dead about the same time slowly all 22 of them whatever kind of poison or whatever kind of um, cause of death this was it does seem like a perfect timing even if it was poison from something that they drank i don't think it would react the same time as everyone else for hmm. 22 children i would guess maybe one person would start throwing up or start feeling pain and another person would start feeling it like five minutes later and maybe soon there's enough time for them to run out and call for help but then it was said some of them were dropped on the couch some of them were laying on the table uh -uh. the dj was laying on his equipment some on the floor some in the bathroom one was said to have died on his way to the hospital the other one died in the hospital but about 20 of them were found in the club lying dead 20 is a large number 20 is too much number for this to be some kind of accident it seems very deliberate to me it seems like a thing of timing or did they all drink from a particular source because you know sometimes these teenagers they kind of mix their drink in a, in a cooler and um, they serve it in a you know, plastic uh, cups like this and maybe the source of where they drank from might have been the fault of the poisoning and if that is the case there is a chance that someone actually deliberately poisoned them and still i don't think it would have reacted at the same timing and made it so slow that they all start dropping seconds apart from each other the whole situation feels very mysterious and very sketchy i don't want to think it was an accident i don't want to think it was um, something that um, could have been avoided it's making me feel like someone did this to these children or could it have been carbon monoxide poisoning you know uh, as a as a result of a generator or something that they are using that may have emitted uh, carbon monoxide into the air and they all inhaled it and i think carbon monoxide makes more sense with this kind of situation because i know carbon monoxide poisoning is common with people who use generators indoors maybe there was a generator indoor that you know caused the death of these children but you know this is south africa so i want to assume they have constant power supply and there might not be need for a generator like some countries although rumors are spreading that the owner of the nightclub might have been the one behind it some sources or some rumors are suggesting that the owner of the club tried to ask the kids to leave and you know that he wanted to close it down but the kids were stubborn and they refused and so the 
club owners prayed something to chase them out that something may have been what killed them. That particular rumor has not been confirmed, so don't quote me on it, it's just what people are saying. And again, where there is smoke, there might be a little spark of fire. Because these are all kids. These are all underage kids, so someone should have noticed. Where were their parents? I mean, there was a 13-year-old child there. Where was the parents of that child? And of course, that club has uh, an owner, so where was the owner of the club? What kind of club owner allows children to party all night? up to 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning without cautioning them or asking them to leave. So I kind of believe the rumor or I kind of see reason to believe that that could be a possibility that maybe the owner tried to ask them to leave. And you know these kids are very rebellious. Teenagers these days, they are unstoppable, they are uncontrollable. Maybe they revolted and the man couldn't fight back and he may have thrown something there to chase them out. But, you know, that would make more sense. That is something because Whatever killed these children was timed. It was on a perfect timing. These kids just slowly dropped dead without realizing that they were dying. Could it have been the drinks? Could it have been something they smoked that would have killed them just all at once as if they were, you know, gassed to death? Again, like I said, the story is currently unfolding. The forensics are yet to give us an actual cause of death. So we would have to wait.